Hello everybody, Jack here. Hope you're all well. Um, today's video is going to be a bit of a quick one. I'm going to be showing you how to replace the brake pad wear sensors on a Gen 1 Mini. Um, basically, every time you change the pads, um, or every time the light comes on, these sensors need to be changed. So, my brake pad light's on. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Um, so I've replaced the pads and the sensors have now came. They came a little bit after the pads. It's not really an issue. So the light's been on for about two weeks or so. So I've replaced the pads already. Um, I didn't film that, but anyway. So today we're going to replace the sensors. So let's have a go. So I've just turned the car onto the sort of turn before it turns the engine over. And you can see all the lights. So these are just because the car's not on properly. don't actually have a check engine light. As you can see over here, We've got this sort of symbol, which basically means that your brake pads need changing. Now obviously, I have changed brake pads, so we know that they're fine. Um, they could probably do with a new set of discs, to be fair, but at the time, just didn't quite have the money for it, so, you know, not a problem. I can do them at a different time. Anyway, we're going to replace the wear sensors now. So, these are the tools you're going to need. You're going to need a new wear sensor. I'll leave a link in the description to the same ones that I got. This is from eBay. Um, you'll need two, there's one on the back driver's side and there's one on the front passenger side. Um, you'll need a jack, um, you might need a set of pliers, uh, a ratchet, breaker bar, 17mm socket to take the wheels off and yeah that's for the jack. So uh, let's get going. So once you've loosened the uh, the bolts for the wheels, get the car jacked up using the back jacking point. And uh, I actually forgot to mention, but slide a jack stand underneath just to secure it. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get it jacked up. Put the jack stand under, and we'll uh, we'll get the wheel off. So one extra security measure. I'm just going to whack the car into gear. Just put it in third, just so that there's a bit of um, resistance on the front wheels because obviously the back wheels up in the air. Got the wheel up now. Um, get the car jacked up, so we're going to take these bolts out and get the wheel off. So I'm going to show you the wear sensor. So it connects here, comes out from sort of the middle of the calipers, connects onto the brake pads, and it basically winds back, and it comes over here. Um, and as you'll see, it basically connects just inside of there. I'll give you a better look once I'm there. Actually under there I'll get a torch out and have a better look. So essentially it just connects in beside here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unclip it and we're going to trace it back and thread the new one in through the same route. So first things first, I'm going to take the old sensor off, just like so. And then put the new sensor on. So as you'll see, so as you'll see there's that gap in the brake pads there. That's as well as I can get it to focus. But that is basically where it fits onto. If you're doing this, you'll be able to see it. And it basically just slides on there. So like that, and it'll be nice and tight. So then, as I said, we're going to be following this back. And basically, where we take the old one off, we put the new one on. So that removes off there. And then we push... And push this on to here. So basically what I've done is obviously plugged it in and sort of followed the little ties back around to here. So we're now at this point where the uh, ABS sensor wire is and also the brake uh, line. So now we're going to go under into the rear subframe and uh, change the plug over. So to get good access to it, under the uh, sill by the jacking point, there's this little bit of plastic trim. So we're going to take this off, it's these horrible plastic screw thingies. I'm going to take that off and that will expose the, uh, the connector. I'll get this off and I'll get back to you. So I've managed to actually release the connector from, the, uh, from its little clip. And when I was changing the brake pads, I knew the back left needed doing. But I didn't, the rest of the pads looked okay. And I think this is why I was getting the warning light. I've not just pulled that accidentally or whatever. That's just the way it came out. They just squeeze and pull out. But yeah, I think that sensor was a bit um, broken. So uh, I'm going to plug the new sensor in. And uh, 
They literally just slot back in. Just like so. There we go. And then it's really, really hard to show you that they've got a little clip holder um, which they pop back into. If you're doing this, you'll be able to see it. And then just do up all the fasteners. So there we have it, that's the back done. As I said, it comes out the back of the caliper and I've used all the fastening points, as you can see there, and connected it into the uh, into the little connector in the back of there. It's so hard to show this connector on the back um, just because of how limited the access is and it is relatively dark in there. So hopefully the front will uh, be a little bit lighter and I might be able to actually get into it a little bit better. Um, I'm pretty sure it is a little bit easy to see so um, I'm going to whack another just put a cable tie on this now um, just to hold it a little bit higher up because it looks like it's drooping a little bit but yeah um, let's get the wheel back on and go and jack up the front passenger side so that's the back driver side wear sensor done let's go and do the front passenger side okay so we're on the front passenger side now and this is considerably easier so again the cable comes out the back of the calipers and it winds round um, and it goes over here and it goes just there where that blue and black thing is so <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to get to it so first thing you need to do is remove all of these plastic screw thingies which I with a passion hate um, as you can see I don't have any because I was working on here before and they're crap so they all just sort of disintegrated um, so I I don't have any, I never had an issue with it, um, but yeah, I mean, you could, if you take them off well enough, then you won't have that issue, but I might just cable tie mine back on, um, but either way, so once you, so once you undo all of these sort of screws and pull the tabs out, the you should be able to get this wheel arch liner free, just sort of pull it away. No, there is a screw at the top as well, so we'll get that one out. So once you've got all the screws and clips undone, you'll be able to pull this wheel liner out of the way, and that will give you free access to this over here. So um, the blue one is your ABS, and the black is your um, brake pad wear sensor. So this is what the sort of clip adapter thing you look like on the other side. Yours will probably be attached over there which is where it should sit, but I think the little clip on the back of that carrier is broken. So this is what the carrier looks like on the back. Um, I know I said it was quite hard to show you, um, so this is what it looks like. So what we're going to do is pop the black one out. doesn't matter if you accidentally pop the blue one out. So we're going to um, push this little clip in and get this out without damaging it. So what I found to work was to um, just push down on there relatively hard, I ended up using a pair of uh, needle nose pliers we'll just have to pop that tab forward when we put it back but now what we're going to do is, obviously this one was already loose so obviously not going to do that one that should have been attached over here we're going to go through and loosen off all of these um, these little retaining sort of tabs and uh, so yeah, also going to take this one off the, uh, the bleed nipple and uh, yeah, as I said, get all these off and we'll replace the sensor. So I've removed uh, obviously the bleed nipple um, sort of attach thingy and I've removed all these um, sort of container clip things and obviously the actual um, connector. So now all that's left to do is to remove it from the brake pad. So just pull that again like that. One thing I should mention is to make sure that little metal clip you can see sort of hanging down comes off with it. Otherwise you're going to have a hard time putting your new one on. But yeah, so we've took that off there now. So let's put the new sensor in. So the same as the back. Just push the sensor onto the pad. And then put the little sort of attachment onto the bleed nipple. You probably will have um, some caps on top of the bleed nipples. Which you'll need to take off. But mine not there so I should probably get some. These are a little bit stiff to get on. Maybe a bit of WD-40 might help. Okay, and then we're going to follow along the ABS line and plug it in over there. And wherever there's an attaching sort of cable, um, we're just going to um, attach it to the ABS line. Uh, we don't want to attach it to this. This is the brake line. So the cable does come from the caliper into behind the disc. 
and the first place it clips onto is over here. So we're going to get that done and get it over to, to the connector. So now we're going to connect the uh, the wear sensor to the main uh, to the main wire. So to do that, they do only fit on one way. Um, so just line them up. So we've got the uh, the brake pad sensor in, followed it back, and plugged it into the main wiring harness. So now we're going to put the uh, wheel arch back in place, fold into that lip. And this section here goes under the bottom of the front bumper and uh, yeah, just put all your screws and fittings back in. So last but not least, we need to reset the brake pad warning light. So get your key and put it into the, um, I, th I, should, I think it's the on position, the one just before it cranks basically. And leave it there for about 30 to 40 seconds the light will go off on the dash that's how you know that you've done it for long enough okay and as you can see the light's gone from the dash so um, yeah problem solved um, the reason why I you know I was happy that the brakes were fine but the reason I had to sort of get this done is the MOT is coming up soon so there might be a couple of videos fixing things from that I'm confident that everything that I can check is okay. Um, you know, tyres are fine, the engine runs okay. Um, you know, coolant levels, oil levels, they're all fine. Um, you know, but it's just whether there's going to be things like bushes, um, suspension, rust, them sort of things. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped. Um, just a short little video just to show you how to do it. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, give the video a thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button. And let me know if you found the video useful. Take care.